Hey guys, Dale Bateman here. On this episode of Build Your Success Online, I'm going to tell you how squeeze page templates can save you some time. Please stay tuned. Hey guys, so let's talk about squeeze pages today. Squeeze page basically is a page, can be on your website or attached to your website, that you have people land on from clicking a link that you've set up somewhere. Could be in a Facebook post, could be in a forum, could be just about anywhere. Maybe even a link at the bottom of one of your articles on an Easy and Articles uh, website. So anyway, somebody clicks your link and they land on your squeeze page. Sometimes they're called a landing page too, simply because people land there. Anyway, uh, so they land on your squeeze page and the squeeze page typically has some different components to it. And any good squeeze page should have the majority of these components in order for it to be effective in uh, encouraging people to leave their email address and opt in to your list so that you can continue communicating that with them through email and eventually they would become your customers. So let me go over a few of these co different components that should make up a good squeeze page and then we'll talk about a couple of sources you can go to to grab up some free uh, free templates for yourself. So first up is your headline. Now your headline should be convincing, should uh, maybe be a little bit uh, off the wall and uh, perhaps ask a question of the uh, of the audience or the visitor and uh, it should be intriguing for them should get them to want to read more following up with your uh, headline immediately below it are usually some bullet points now this is usually the easiest way to get across the features and benefits of your product or service so what you want to do is talk about the benefits of purchasing your thing or opting in to get that free report that you're offering, whatever it might be. These are quick, to the point, and show a real feature and a real benefit to acquiring this thing that you're asking them to acquire from you. Next up, testimonials. Now, it's a good idea if you can get some testimonials on there. Um, even if you're brand new and you just get a couple of things, that's great. Uh, don't feel you have to fill up a whole page with testimonials though, especially when you're just getting started. What I would recommend is get some people online that you trust. Maybe it's somebody you've been working with in a Facebook group or that you met through a forum and give them a copy of this report or whatever it is that you're giving away through your squeeze page and ask them to take a look and give, the, give their opinion to you. Now that way you're going to get a very honest opinion and you can actually get them to write that in an email back to you or in a personal message so you can actually grab that text and use it as a written testimonial on your squeeze page. Okay, so you do this before you even release the squeeze page. So you're able to get a couple of good testimonials from actual people that you know and they're going to give you their honest opinion about the product, service, report, whatever it is. Okay, so that's your testimonials. Next comes your offer. This is when you get to the meat and potatoes of your squeeze page. You're actually telling them exactly what they're going to get, when they're going to get it, how they're going to get it, you know, is it a physical product that's going to be mailed to their home? Is it a downloadable product that they're going to get access to right away? Are they going to get an email with the link to it? Or are they going to be directed to another page right after the squeeze page to download it there? Be very specific with your offer. People have to know exactly how they're going to go about getting this thing from you. Okay, if you're vague, then people will... Uh, you know, if you're vague or you don't include uh, any details at all in your offer, people will be skeptical of that and they may pass it by. Okay, so be very specific with exactly what's going to go down for your offer. The final part is obviously the opt-in form. This 
is the most critical part of the entire squeeze page because this is where you capture their information which will be transferred onto your email list. Now, I would always recommend that you have only one field there, one field and one field only, just for their email address. Some people may tell you to add a name field as well. That's up to you. I've found greater conversions with just using an email address field. Okay, if you start asking people for too many things, they won't, uh, they won't stick around, they won't take the time to give you too much information. If you can grab their email from them quickly, do it. All right, so those are the essential components of a squeeze page. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, now, let me give you a couple of sources that I just looked up online for you to grab some free squeeze page templates. The first one is a site called easysqueezepagebuilder.com. Now on there, they claim that you can use their software to create your own squeeze page, and it's absolutely free. So what I would recommend is get all your stuff ready, the, the different components that I just went through, get all that text ready, and maybe again, try it on some people that you trust, get their opinions, see what the copy looks like to them is does, does it look like it's saleable does it look like like it's convincing like it might convince people to actually give you their email address so once you get that figured out head over to easysqueezepagebuilder.com and start building your squeeze page all the directions are there it's easy to do another one if you're using wordpress which i would highly recommend you do for your website there's a great WordPress plugin which is called WP Lead Plus Free Squeeze Page Creator. So it's a plugin that you can put and add to your website, to your WordPress website, and it will give you the functionality to actually create a squeeze page within your WordPress site. Okay? Now, they have a free version, obviously, of the plugin. There's also a pro version, which has more features that you can go and get for an additional fee. So, there you go, guys. A couple of resources. I've put them below in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're on my blog, I've got links for them as well below. Um, go over those components carefully. Think about them as you're writing the copy and so forth for your squeeze page take your time and put yourself in your consumers shoes okay think of yourself as though you are your tar target market and you're reading it for the first time what is your first impression uh, is there anything that needs to be tweaked changed uh, modified and so on you want to get this squeeze page down to a fine science so that you get as many people opting in and giving you their email address as possible alright so that's great that's a few tips for you today on squeeze page templates. I hope you enjoy this information. If you do, please subscribe to my channel, uh, hit me a like down below, and check out my blog to see what I've got going on there. Until next time, my name is Dale Bateman from buildyoursuccessonline.com, and I'm wishing you a fantastic day. Bye for now.